Hello, and welcome to Installer Guru. Today, we will see a remote desktop software similar to AnyDesk or Team Viewer. Rust Desk is a full featured open source remote control alternative for self hosting and security with minimal configuration. This is an outstanding tool for IT support and remote work. It works on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, and the web. It supports VP8, VP9, AV1 software codecs, and H264, H265 hardware codecs. Own your data and easily set up a self-hosting solution on your infrastructure. No administrative privileges or installation needed for Windows. Elevate privilege locally or remotely on demand. Today, we will install this tool into our local environment and test how it works. We will install it on Windows first and then try to install it in the Docker host as a container. To get it installed first, we need to go to the Rust Desk documentation section. Here, you will get all the information and steps on how this tool can be installed on different server systems. Rust Desk runs its services on some TCP and UDP port numbers. The core ports are from 2.1.1.1.4 to 2.1.1.1.9, and the UDP port number is 2.1.1.1.6. Additionally, it will use 2.1.1.1.8 and 2.1.1.1.9 TCP ports for its web client. Rust Desk requests two connection types. One is an ID server, and the second one is a relay server along with an encryption key. To install it on Windows, we need to download the Windows EXE version from the Rust Desk server section. First, we need to download it and extract it. Then, we need to follow the simple installation instructions to get it installed on this computer. After the installation, we need to open it to start the services so that all the available ports run on the system. In these windows, you can see the ID server ports running in the log section. From this window, you will get an encryption key, which you need to set up on the client network connection. Next, we will go to Rust Desk's official website to download the client as per your operating system. Rust Desk client software is available for Windows, Linux, and macOS, and it is also available for mobile devices like iOS and Android. I have downloaded it for Windows for this demo. You can try it for other OS as well. In the client tool, you will get an ID and one-time password by which another client can connect to it. But before that, we need to add the server details to both clients. To do that, we need to go to Settings. In the Settings menu, you will get many other options that you can tweak as per your needs. You can change the color and theme, audio settings, recording settings, and many more. In the Security tab, you have the option to control the security features of this tool. You can change the password settings, enable two-factor authentication, configure tunneling, file transfer settings, and much more. Now, we need to enter the server address in the network setting. Here, I am entering the ID server address as my Rust Desk server's local IP, and the same goes for the relay server address. In the key section, you need to enter the key which you will get on the Rust Desk server logs window. Now I am ready with two Windows Rust Desk clients connected to my local server. Remember to check the firewall settings to ensure it is active with its ports. The encryption key is also required for security, providing an encrypted tunnel between two computers. Now you can see that I am able to connect my second computer via this tool. In this tool, you can connect via a one-time password or ask another user to accept your remote request. You can see that I am able to control the remote computer without any lag. With this tool, you can also perform many other activities on the remote computer. You can do file sharing, screen recording, keyboard and input device settings, and use some cool display optimization settings. You can directly copy any files from a remote computer or send any file from the remote user's computer. Next, we will install this software as a Docker container on my Docker host. Installation in a container 
gives you more features and functions to control the data and settings. To install it as a container, I am using a Docker Compose WML file that I modified as per my need. In this Compose file, you can see I have separated it into two containers, one for the ID server and one for the relay server. I have defined ports and the local IP address as per my Docker host setup. In this file, I have set K to get the encryption key. Now I am going to deploy this Docker setup into my Portainer Docker host as a stack. You need to create a stack with the Compose file and deploy it in your environment. This will deploy automatically as per the directory you have set. Then we need to extract the encryption key from this directory's PEB files. Go to that directory and you will see an ID file that you need to run with the cat command to get the key. Finally, we are ready to set up the server settings for the client. After the client setup, you can see I am able to control the remote user's computer very easily. You can use this tool on your local computer with a Windows server or a Docker container. Additionally, you can set up this tool on other servers like Ubuntu or CentOS. To access or control a remote computer over the public internet, you need to configure NAT or port forwarding on your firewall or router. This software also has a pro version for serious production environments at a very affordable price. In the pro version, you will get a web-based interface to control all types of client computers along with enhanced security and control features. That's all for now. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe to Installer Guru for more exciting tech videos. Thanks for your valuable time with us. We will be back soon with new and exciting tech videos for you.